Hi, I'm Mikey Dredd, and this is The Switch on Bowling Science. We're back here at Century Lanes in Hampton, Virginia for day six of 30 in a row on our transition to two-handed bowling. Today, I got to practice with friends Eric and Jason, who accompany me almost every day. And today, we also had Mike and Jacob drive down from Richmond. It was cool to meet up with some familiar faces and to meet a new one, and just to spread our love for bowling together. We spent the afternoon working on coaching, had a little lunch, and just overall enjoyed being back on the lanes together. I get a lot of questions about ball reactions for two-handed bowlers, and I'm still learning them myself. So I decided to do a comparison of two different types of layouts that I carry with me. First being my short pin layouts. We'll start here. This is my Phantom. It's drilled with a three quarter inch pin to PAP short pin drilling. This is the straightest of my short pin balls because this is a low diff ball to start with. So when you put a short pin layout on it, it stays much straighter than some of my other short pin options. The short pin layout on a ball like this is definitely my quote urethane replacement that I keep in the bag to try to keep the straightest look with my feet furthest right on dry lanes. Let's see it in slow motion before we move on to the next short pin ball. And Dynamicore gets the 10 out. Here's my intel. This is the longest of my short pin drillings, and this one is actually three inches pin to PAP. Most short pin drillings are one to two and a half inches, but with the different requirements of no thumb layouts, one inches all the way up to three inches will qualify as a short pin layout and limit the flare without a thumb hole. This is my Intel with the three inch pin. This one's got a little bit longer pin because the core is weaker and I wanted a medium ball for my short pin options. Again, being symmetrical, it's a smoother read, and I actually like how this one's a little more forward than some of my other short pin balls. Let's see that shape in slow motion. And finally, my most versatile, my ASIM short pin ball. This is my radical results. This ball has the highest intermediate diff available if you're gonna choose a short pin layout. The drilled numbers of this ball come out to about 015 intermediate diff and 030 total diff. That gives this ball a more angular down lane shape while still retaining the limited flare characteristics of a short pin layout. The other three ball bag that I carry with me has my strong drilled ASINs, my big cores. This first one is a conspiracy theory, drilled six by six with the pin an inch above the ring finger line. This ball allows me to use the characteristics of the stronger core, but smooths it out and makes it realistic for me on most conditions. I also have a Zing Hybrid here. Same drilling numbers six by six, but the pin is two inches above. This results in a more angular quick read off the spot and is definitely accentuated by the difference in these two cores. Let's slow that down just a little bit and see how it looks coming off the friction. Stood up a little early out of that shot, but it looks like I got away with it. The last ball we're gonna compare in the big ASIMs is my big strong ASIM drilling on my strong max flip results. This ball is drilled four and a quarter by five and a half with the pin an inch and a half above. Oh, push the 10 out there. Let's see if the slow-mo shot looks a little better. Overall, today was about staying loose and progressing while having a good time at the bowling center with my friends. I want to thank everybody who's watched and followed along with the switch, and I appreciate everybody's feedback. Before we left, they asked me to get in and wheel one, so I changed hand positions and went to a higher tilt and rotation hand position and maxed out what we could get out of the Zing Hybrid. I could barely get it over the gutter cap, but she made it all the way back. We've got a big surprise in store for you tomorrow. We've got a new training tool that we're going to bring with us to pin boys and hit the lanes with. I want to thank everybody for joining us today, and make sure you hit that Patreon link up on the screen if you want to support the channel further. Thank you. We'll see you all tomorrow.